User freedom is where the system gives users options. The classic example is where the system has emergency exit, and that means having an undo and redo option. Of course, there's slightly more to user freedom than just undo and redo. In fact, when user freedom has been broken, it's normally very obvious. On the screen, you can see an example of a Windows update, which forced users to choose an option and froze everything else until they'd made a choice, even though at the time, none of the choices were satisfactory. Outlook has provided another example of broken user freedom. In fact, at school, if my students try and attach Python code to an email and send it to me, it won't let them, as Microsoft, in a misguided attempt to keep me safe, has decided to strip those files from any emails, which isn't what I want. It's meant that I've had to find a workaround for students to be able to get their Python code to me. Having said that, Outlook's not all bad, and in some cases, it does user freedom really well. If I try and send an email where I've mentioned attaching a file, but haven't attached anything, it warns me, but also gives me the option to not show this message again. Anytime you've got a tick box which says, don't show this message again, that is another example of user freedom.